Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Vertical Slice. I'm Gareth, and today you will be looking at Surgeon Simulator 2013. Let's reset the reception and then let's go and quickly bump up the sound a little bit because there is some good music in this and the sound effects are probably worth hearing. Um, so I think the first thing you need to know about Surgeon Simulator, that's probably loud enough, is that uh, it, is, it is not a simulator. That, that, is, that is quite important to know. Oh god, the telephone! Ah! Shut up! Get, get. Okay, right, now no one could call us anymore. As I was saying, it's not a simulator. Hopefully you've gathered that just by looking at this immediately. Um, you basically play the disembodied hand of a surgeon. I think his name is Nigel Burke, if, if um, the... Oh, yeah, if my uh, diploma is anything to go by. So you play this hand, you can control each of the fingers individually. So um, each, each finger is mapped to a separate key. You may have to rebind the keys in order to get all five working correctly. If your keyboard is suffering from the um, N, I think it's called N key lock or something like that. But uh, basically this means that you can, you can move his hand around, you can rotate it up and down, clasp the fingers, and with that you can then pick up things. So let's just grab this pen here. Oh, I, I'm not meaning to swear at you, I apologise. And then hopefully if we come down here. Uh, yeah, look at that. Doodling. I'm, so, I'm the best surgeon in the world, I can doodle. So yeah, um, the, the kind of like primary aim, if we go to the operation area, is to perform a variety of operations. Um, general, you've got a heart transplant, kidney transplant, brain transplant. And then you've also got ambulance mode where you have to do all three in the back of a moving ambulance, which is, is enjoyable. Uh, let's going to try the uh, kidney transplant because I haven't done particularly well on that one in the past. So here we are. We're right in operating theatre immediately. So if we lift this up here, uh, just put that down there. The, the physics, the wonky physics, I think kind of are part of the appeal of this. So you can see here we have his intestines, and uh, what we basically have to do is remove all this nonsense, um, probably by cutting it out. So let's see, what have we got? We've got, um, I think, let's let's try and do it delicately. Let's try and do it properly. So let's go with a scalpel. So we've got a variety of scalpels over here. Uh, put it down. I love the kind of like terrible 1980s music coming out of the radio. Oh, God. So I stabbed him. Uh... Okay, let's try again. Where's the HUD? Why can't I see the HUD? Should I turn that off? I think I might have accidentally turned the HUD off. Let's just drop that down there. Uh, let's go back to the menu. Sorry about this. Let's go back to options. Main menu. Options. Uh, mm, there is no HUD option. So maybe it's just fallen out the side of the screen? I don't know. Key mapping, full screen, advanced. No, that's all fine. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, we'll just go back. We can. It just means I won't know when the patient is actually dying. Ah, that telephone! I don't know who carries on calling me. Right. Up, up, there you go. Just lay it across his head. That's perfectly fine. Let's go back and pick up a scalpel. So, yeah, the. the actual oh uh pick up oh my i've lost my watch just i don't i didn't i didn't need the watch the watch was unimportant um the actual surgery bit of this is quite you know limited it's not it's not like i mean look at that look at how i'm gra grabbing that um you know this is about as close to real surgery as theme hospital is to running a real hospital okay right we've cut off one side of the large intestine now if i remember correctly the other side is over here somewhere uh, let's put it in Come on, come on. Ooh. Okay, alright. That's half of the la small intestine. Er, come on, down down here. There we go, right. Okay, let's, let's just drop that over here. Uh, we will, may need that in future. So now we're going to go in, grab the large intestine, and we'll just yank that out of there. He, he doesn't need that, that's not important. You know, we'll just put that over here, on his face. That's fine. Uh, so now we'll need the other half of the large intestine, or the small intestine, to cut out. So let's grab a different scalpel. 
I'm sure all of these have proper names, but uh, unfortunately I'm not a surgeon, so there we go. We've, we've released that. That was, again, not needed. And that's Larice the, uh, the... Is that the kidney? I think it is. Okay, let's put that down over over here. Just drop it nicely. Okay, so let's get in there. Pick up the large intestine. Again, the patient just doesn't need these things. They're not, they're not necessary, you know. They're just taking up space. Useless space. He needs new kidneys, that's the important thing. He doesn't need a new intestine. Let's grab that. Ah! So this is one thing which is difficult, is grabbing of things inside the... There we go, let's take that out. So this is something I... I this, this uh, whatever this is here, I think it's the pancreas. It's, it's just stuck in there, I can't get it out. So I think we will need to... Yeah, we'll need to use some releasing mechanism to cut that out. I think a best releasing mechanism is another scalpel, if I can get one. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's now try and just do a bit of cutting here, and a bit of cutting over here, just to, oh, just to loosen the, uh, loosen these. There we go, that's loosen that one. Cut that one out there. That one's still not loose, but oh well. Uh, have I stuck? Oh god, I think I think it's stuck in him. Oh dear. Oh, okay. All right, it's out now. Right, all is fine. All is well. Let's drop that. Let's now grab. Let's try and grab this out. It's still. I have a worry that it's stuck under there still. Ah! Come on! Come on! You don't need this. It's not. It's not needed. Oh dear. Right. Drastic measures. Let's go for a larger knife. Pick up this here. So you often, almost all the times, you have to grab with all five fingers if you want to pick things up properly. Okay, just stabbed him there a little bit, but he's fine. Stabbed him there again. Ugh. I mean, if I, I could break that bone, but very in all likelihood he would die. So we'll try extracting it delicately with these these scissors here. I can pick up those scissors. Oh, those scissors are out of reach! Damn it. Okay. We'll, we will progress to the next stage of the operation then, where we need the spoon is actually the most useful element to have here, because all we want to do is kind of like gingerly finger these kidneys out of there. I never thought I'd say that. There we go. Move. So that one's nice and loose. Move that down here. Ooh. Come on. Come on, there we go. And then we've got this other kidney, which is going to be more tricky to get rid of because of the pancreas that I still haven't been able to get out. So let's move you about a bit. Come on. So uh, as you can see, none of this is very much like real operating, I'm sure. The doctors out there will have said that, yeah, this is... <laughs> can't just remove patients' organs from their body and just expect them to live, but uh, Surgeon Simulator has no qualms about that. Okay, we'll try and we'll try and grab it. I don't think we're going to be able to. I don't think it's close enough. We'll drop that spoon there because we may need it in future. Okay, angle the hand down. Go in. Grab. Got it. Got one of them. Okay, chuck that away. Again, he doesn't need his old kidneys. He's getting new ones. Grab that one. Ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Okay, right. Both the old kidneys are out, so the next stage is technically to put the new kidneys in. It's going to be really difficult, though, with the pancreas on this side. I really wish we could grab it out. Ah, oh, it just won't, it just won't come out. I don't know where, it, there must be somewhere where you have to cut it, but it's evidently not on the green bit where it's connecting to the body. All right, anyway, we will go in here to the, and open this up, and inside here, a pair of lovely new kidneys. Oh, careful. Right, grab one of them. Okay. And we're just gonna drop it in there. Yeah, kidney transplant complete. That's all you need to do. Don't need to worry about sewing it up or anything. Just drop them in there. So this is the bit where it might not register that the kidney is actually present. Ah, it did, perfect. There you go, so a C. Um, and final blood level, oh, that's not too bad. So the patient did survive. So there's no kind of like tidying up, no kind of like putting everything back in. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's just immediately the patient is fine. 
That squelching noise is horrible. Just continue. Oh, horrible squelching noise. So, and then you can have fun on the on the actual reception area. So, you know, pick up my diploma and throw it away. <laughs> and there's also, um, I will show you a tiny bit later after we try an ambulance mission, the, oh, the, uh, there's a very interesting mission you can take by managing to put this in here. But then you've also got on this side, ah, the telephone. Shut up! Oh my goodness. Oh, they wonder why I get angry. I've got anger issues because of... Ah! Right. That's fine. Everything's fine. No need to panic. I'll just take some pills and it'll be all okay. Give me the pills! No! All the pills went all over the floor. I do like the depth of field thing that kind of like shows, oh yeah, there's some stuff happening over there, but we can't actually see what's going on. So they, they patched in, or I think they did, this new mission, which is... um. Team Fortress related. So if I pick up this VHS cassette. Ah, no, I've lost the VHS cassette. Okay, try again. And um, now we need to try and angle it to put it in the VCR. If that's possible. Ooh, I don't think it's going to like that. I need to... Uh, ah, no, don't fall. <laughs> I can't put it in upside down and backwards. That's not going to work. Let's try it, actually. Let's see if it will let me. Oh, come on. Pick it up. There we go. Right. Yeah, just put just put it in backwards. This is how VCRs work. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. All right. We'll reset. Oh. Oh, now it's stuck to my finger. We'll reset the reception. But the phone will start ringing again, so I'm going to pick up the phone immediately to stop it doing that. There we go. Hate that bloody telephone. No one can ring me when I'm working. Okay, Nigel's research. Let's put that into the VCR. There we go. So this is a, um, if you've seen the Meet the Medic, as it says there, you basically do the Meet the Medic operation, which is quite challenging, actually, I find. For your examination. Oh, here we go. The overview <laughs> is back this time. So um, you have to basically take out the... Heavy's current heart, replace it with a baboon heart, which is in this ridiculously difficult to reach fridge. It's like opening this fridge takes so long. Will I do it the first time? No. You see, you grab with the medic's hand and it's just not, it just doesn't, no, doesn't connect. So we're, we'll just, you know, there's not, not a lot to do here um, if I'm not actually trying the operation because it's quite challenging. You have to move this thing around as well, which is the healing beam of uh, the medic's gun. And so you can like, rest your hand on it and it'll move around. We'll, we'll brutally murder the uh, medic though, the, do the heavy I think. So let's just whack him in the head a bit with the scout's baseball bat if I could. Go on, whack him. Yeah, oh, that's better. Right. Well, let's at least get in there. Let's at least get in. Ooh, oh dear. Oh well. As you can see, whacking someone with a baseball bat is a good way to lose blood. Break those. Break that open. Just break, just break it all open. He doesn't need any of these bones. I mean, the, you can angle your hand down in such a way that I could kind of like hit it, but it's quite challenging to do it that way. Oh. A lot of movement. I could just, I can't like find, find just putting your hand there is easier. Oh, we'll, we'll do it a different way. It's too complicated. What's that there? Is that his intestines? Mm, let's just grab them. We d he doesn't need them. Oh, they're stuck in there. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. All right. Try a different tack. Let's go with the. Oh, there's a useful bomb here. Let's try that. Or blow up, blow him up. Ooh. Hmm. All right. I 
that's enough. That's enough of those. Let's just try and remove the uh, internal organs then, so he doesn't need his lungs anymore. If they would please kindly... There we go. Yeah, out. You can just, of course, pull out the lungs just like that. There's no disconnecting or anything. They're just floating in there, you know. Let's take this lung as well. That's, it's just a useless bit of flesh. It's not needed. There we go. Perfect. And then uh, what's that down there? That's something else. Also useless. Not not necessary for the function of this operation. If I could... The heart is in the way somewhat. There we go. Right. Ooh. Physics freaking out on that thing. It's like it's alive. Okay, so I find the best thing to remove the heart is actually the uh, tweezers or the pliers over here. So grab the pliers. Come down into here. Angle it down slightly and... Cut at the heart. Cut away. Cut away a bit more. Come on. Come on. Yay. Come on. No. Not liking it. It's weird. Last time I did this, it cut them immediately. Oh, it's cut one half of the ventricle. Let's try the other half. Come on. You don't need this anymore. It's not important. Just give it up freely and everything will be fine. No, it's not. It's all right. Well, we'll try something else. Let's try this knife. Spy knife. Flat flick blade. Uh, in you go. There we go. So right, his heart is loose. Let's uh, grab that. Oh, grab it. We doesn't need it anymore. He definitely doesn't need it anymore. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. That's one thing. Because you, your wrist is there, it's sometimes difficult to know whether or not you've grabbed things correctly. Right. Throw that away. Blood on the floor. Can I actually get in here to save his life? I doubt it. Oh, come on. This is the most challenging bit of just, just opening the fridge. Oh, yeah. I think the fridge is loose. So maybe if we come around here fridge door will there we go there we go right okay nope don't close don't close the fridge door so this is another really tricky bit grabbing the new heart Ooh. no don't don't go to the back of the fridge it's impossible to reach to the back of the fridge so if it goes back there oh my god don't drop it no don't drop it no ah Oh, thank God. Okay, right. Still got it. It's still all right. Okay, so we just come down here, purse it on that thing. Pierce it on that thing. Is it stuck to it? No. Stick it to it. Oh, don't. Don't fall off the table. There we go. Stuck to it. Right. Put that over here. We're just going to drop that into the chest cavity. Oh, no, don't fall off. Don't fall off. Ah, ah, don't fall off. Okay, right. Drop that into the chest cavity. That's better. Now it is a really finicky bit, which is to move this around. I'm surprised we got this far. I expected him to die before now. We have to kind of angle this so that it's healing his chest. There we go. Ooh, that went way too far. Let's angle it back a bit. Angle it back a bit. And then grab the heart, hold it in front of the... Hmm? Will it even come out? Has it got stuck to something? Oh. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, a bit more. That's it. Wonderful. There we go. We've supercharged the heart. Drop that back in there. And then we just need to heal him up. Oh, wrong way. Okay, that's it. And now just angle down slightly. Slightly angle down. No, that's angle up. That's it, that's it. Go. Go, heal. Heal him. You're pointing right at him. Heal him. That's it, that's it. Yay! Oh, no, no, no. What, what's wrong? 
Oh, is it? What is, what's that white thing? Is that what's in the way? Whatever that is. Okay, try again. Go. No. Yeah, yeah, just... just. That's it, that's it! Oh, stay with it! This is very finicky, it's like... No, angled the wrong way. We want to angle down. Down. Come on, heal him! Just heal him! Why isn't it doing that? Come on, you're pointing right at him now. I I really don't know why this isn't working. It like works for a second and then it stops. I mean, the heart is almost all the way in. I can't really get it in much further. You know? Oh, come on. Oh, it made the noise again. Come on, you're, it's facing right at it. Oh. Not much to say while we try this. Maybe I should just give up and move on to the other operation. Well, I'm fed up with this. It can be a bit... It can be very... You know, this is the most finicky mission, I think, and it's... It, these things are really tricky to actually get just in the right place. Well... Ah! Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, go on! What?! What?! What was Rata there?! You were just about to finish healing him! What?! I... Why didn't that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just hold the heart there. There we go. Oh, I had to hold the heart in place. Oh, okay. So you get the idea. So the, and then you can do the ones in the ambulance, which are very funny because everything is flying around. But I think I'll show you the best one. Oh, to finish this off which is here. If we can grab this floppy disk. Oh, picked up two floppy disks. Didn't want both of them. Only wanted the top one. That's it. Right, let's come down here. We'll put the floppy disks on the keyboard. Eject the current disk. There we go. Pick up the control disk. Oh, pick up the control disk. Oh, that bloody telephone! Shut up! Oh, it won't shut up. Oh, I didn't mean to pick up the keyboard as well. Just the floppy disk, please. Just the floppy disk. Just the floppy disk! That's it, that's it. Right, okay, so put the floppy disk in the machine. In the machine. There we go. Lovely. Oh, my telephone is actually ringing now, so I'll have to stop early. Sorry about this. Goodbye. Or actually, wait. Oh, it was it was only some kind of like a m automated thing, so I'm not worried about it. So I was trying to say, oh that telephone. I was trying to say, um, oh so yeah, so yes, this is a mission in space. <laughs> this is the the culmination of it. I've kind of like if if you wanted to buy this game, I kind of spoiled it for you now. But uh, yeah, this is the ultimate end state of the game to perform a heart transplant in space and everything is floating around. Um, I think this is just amazing. It also makes the operation almost a, a, a bit of chance because that hammer up there, I can't get it now, it's just gone. So 
we need we will need to start with then let's grab this thing which is still near the ground okay I'm sure this will be fine just very very gently very gently cut out there we go cut it out he doesn't need any of these you know ribs they're not in ribs are overrated Okay, we're doing well. Bit more, bit gently, there we go. Doing well in terms of not losing much blood here, actually. This is the best I've used the bone cutter ever. Hope I didn't spook too soon. Ooh. Ah, okay, right. We'll put that over there because we don't want that to touch that again. So everything is floating away from his chest. Let's just grab his lungs, which he neither needs as well. Grab them. Oh, thank you. The pancreas, perfect. Just coming out nice and smoothly there. Oh, where's the new heart? Oh no, the new heart is floated away. Oh. This mission is impossible to complete. Oh. Get out of the way, lung. Second lung. Yeah, just come on, release. Release yourself. There we go. Float it. Float away. Be free. What is this person even doing in space? How do they get in space? Okay, let's just uh oh, we don't actually want that because that might inject us and then everything will go weird. Oh, no, don't electric electrocute yourself either. Uh Okay. So yeah, you, you can do stuff like electrocuting yourself and that will uh, make the mission way more difficult. Oh, oh, what have I grabbed? I can't even see what I grabbed. Oh, I, I didn't even want that. Where's the scalpel? I need a scalpel. There are no scalpels down here. Just this glass jar. Uh, is that a scalpel? That's a scalpel. Ooh. No comeback scalpel. Oh, it's gone. Ugh. So, oh, the drill. That's not much use. Oh, that's a scalpel. Come on. Oh, it's it's just out of reach. It's just out of reach. Oh, it's just out of reach. Oh, no. That's so, so irritating. The tweezers, I don't think, are much good. Oh, wait, there's another scalpel down there. Okay, over his head. Grab it. Crap, no! Ah! Oh no! Where's it gone? Oh, it's gone again. There's another one down here. Did I grab? No. Oh. So the, the controls on this are purposely the most obtuse, bad controls ever. And I think, I find that makes this game hilarious you know it's not a simulator it's meant to be a joke it's meant to be kind of monty python-esque in its grotesqueness and you know the the idea that you can just saw people open you know and they'll be fine oh they're so where's the i just want a scalpel any scalpel will do any scalpel no just a cotton bud yeah, we, the radio's in the way. Ugh. Well, let's just... We'll put an end to it then. We'll just use the... Where's the... Ugh, give me the drill. Yeah. All right. Sorry, patient. It's it's not... It's just... This is how it ends. Yeah. Yeah. Brutal murder. Stab him in the head. Surprised he lasts this long. This is quite a... He's quite a good patient, in fact. Should we stab him in the heart? That'll probably last quick, be quicker. There we go. Yes, that's... Mmm, look at how red my arm is getting. <laughs> so that's Surgeon Simulator 2013. If you like stupid things, if you like the ability to be able to be just absolutely... to rule over chaos, I, I, you know, the, this main menu screen is probably the best, one of the best main menus ever throwing that on the floor again because I don't want them to answer me. 
just the idea that you can pick up all this stuff, throw it around, you know. There are other, um, oh, get out of the way. Go over there. There are other floppy disks you can put in inside the computer. Um, if we have a look, there's the credits one. There's Britannica Disc 3, or Brita Britannia. I, be I think it's trying to be like Encyclopedia Britannica. I've never put that one in. Let's try putting that one in. Uh, okay. Go down, grab. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Right. Okay. Line it up and into the machine. Into the into the machine. Oh, no, 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 no. Not under the machine. Oh, we didn't need the keyboard. That wasn't needed. Into the machine. Into the machine. Go on, just gently put, put it in the machine. Into the machine. There we go. Oh, look at that. 1988. So what's that? Ah, okay. So it's 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 giving a, a kind of like a hint on a good thing to do for an operation. So you can use the the saw to saw your way through to the brain when you're doing a brain transplant, and kind of like the bone saw to get inside the skull when you're doing that as well, or, or to ribs. So yeah, they kind of like provide useful hints, which is which is good. Oh, I love that computer screen. Anyway, thank you for watching. We will play something else next time, but I will uh, leave you with back at the uh, ATV screen. It's lunchtime. You can go out and get yourself a bite to eat and enjoy the sunshine. See you next time.